Andrew S here and yes another album synopsis from 2020 because I've been trying to catch up with all the albums that came out late last year November December today I'm talking about Communix hiding from the world hopefully you guys can see this artwork all right another nice AFM layout we just got some band pictures here one thing I did notice when I checked out the band though I was like wait a minute this band's been together since the very first album. You know, how many bands can you say that, like, from the very first album or from even, like, previous to that, before any releases, that, like, they were together? So I thought that was pretty cool that Communic has done that. Anyways, on to the album. Uh, the opening two songs really lure you in. Both Plunder of Thoughts and the title track, Hiding from the World, are both very strong with lots of poetic ups and downs, signature musical detours with classic communic seamless transitions, and both songs like to ascend and recede, sort of a classic you know, communic sort of thing. It reminds me of, or it takes me back to a couple of communic songs like uh, At Dewey Prime and Raven's Cry. And this gave me a thought though, I was like, I realized on this album that like, they do go back in time. You do feel things like from uh, from an album like uh, Waves of Visual Decay, and then you move forward, and then you hear some things off their their last release from a few years ago, um, where echoes gather. So you get like this variation of Communic, and then you got a lot of fresh stuff on this album. So I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. This album's very diverse for them, which is usually the case, anyways. But really diverse. On to the next track, My Temple of Pride. This is a nice atmospheric track. I like the atmospheric verse and of the, the guitars and maudlin bass movement that really complements uh, or is complemented by a relaxed pace and then ascends to a more vehement si si uh, kind of cur curse chorus. And the interlude really soars as the drums, the drums really pick up with a stoical melody lifting you to the like the top of a temple it's just really really nice build here i like the a lot of the the motion and atmosphere captured in my temple of pride the next song i really want to talk about is facing a crowd this is the labyrinth of tempos timing techniques and it's just a roller coaster of varying intensities throughout that shake the foundation of this composition with some bone crushing riffs and some thought provoking lead guitar work yes thought provoking you know, it, you know, it's, it, the, the guitar work, I want to say it like feels out of place, but yet Communic makes it work with inventive timings and countering each other with, uh, and then uniting with neat uh, pieces of craftsmanship here. It's very unique. Maybe it's something I picked up or, um, you know, hearing wrong or something, but it's definitely something uh, really creative here. You know, I, I highly recommend you guys check out Face in a Crowd and see if you can't pick up what's going on in, the, in this uh, guitar work here and what I sort of heard going on there. Uh, the next song is awesome, Born Without a Heart. This has a really painful, or you can really feel the pain surface in this song as you move along. And it's one of uh, the singer here, uh, Odd Life Stenslad, top emotional performances. He really delivers this drastic range when the music calls for it and shows his all his vocal capabilities. You know, the highs, the lows, the range, the emotions. He just really captures so much in this. And the music certainly creates a sense of lamenting with a smidgens of hope. But like I said, Odd Life, he really nails it. And I think it's one of his best performances of all the albums that Communic has done. I have to say, though, uh, Scavengers Await. The main riff to this is very unique for Communic with a bit, uh, pacing is a little different uh, shift to it. Like it almost like it has a groovy attitude, which I, I, you don't usually hear from Communic. Well, I don't think I've ever heard that. But uh, there's some no, some new uh, drum techniques here, and the lead tone seems to really uh, harness a subtle mood change as well. You know, this this is what I mean by like there's a lot of fresh stuff going on with Communic on this album. And I love the tag team of the rhythm and bass too. The bass work has always been awesome in Communic. I love the grooviness. I love how it really comes through and adds a lot of depth, you know, to the to uh, Communic songs as well. And I really like the overall direction of this. I think it works really, really well, you know, and it's a song that stands out in, you know, Communic's collection of, of their body of work overall, I think Scavenger of White really does well. The last song on the album is very emotionally strong, Forgotten. 
Uh, this certainly harnesses a huge kaleidoscope of emotions and atmosphere. Such a devastating closing track. Very passionate and has a very uh, agonizing lyrics, I would say. I, su I really suggest listening to this track. Very solid closing um, closing off the album here. And I definitely felt like this album grew on me more and more. Like, like I said, as you get to pick up a lot of what's going on. There's a lot of depth. A lot of strong lyrical messages to pick up on so you know you hear it over and over again there's lots to soak up that's for sure so Communic really you know you know even though like they they changed it up a little bit uh, I feel like they still kept the uh, classic Communic as well a lot of awesome stuff the drum work is it was always spectacular as well so I hope you guys check out Communic down in the links below for all their songs on here as well as more metal content Maybe a link to my comic book channel and I'll have some more videos coming up soon. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Going on a journey into Evergrey soon. So that should be fun. Hope you guys join me for that. Until next time folks, heavy listening.